What's up, you fools? Matt is united, your favorite Eurovision channel. It's rehearsal day. It's exhausting. It's fun. But exhausting. It's exhausting, yeah. But fun. Yeah. And exhausting. But yeah. the point is, um, we just, oh, not just, we watched Poland today. Yeah. Poland rehearsed for the first time, Tulia. And um, let's share our thoughts about this one. Why don't I go first on this one? So Tulia was a very interesting progression because, again, it changed every single round, gotten better and better because let's, I thought the first one was a mess. And it wasn't all Tulia's fault or anything because there were multiple issues. There were sound issues. In the, in the first round, you only heard one of the singers. I think the, actually, the woman, Tulia herself. Yeah. You know, I think we only heard her. We didn't hear anyone else. And then you saw the girls kind of stop singing for a while. And then they missed a huge take their microphone stand down to the front of the stage. Yeah. And then they were out of sync with like the shoulder movements. And then they stopped singing. They knew that this is a butchered first round. Yeah. And not all of them was their fault. I think they couldn't get back into the groove at that point. Um, but I think it improved every single round. Well, the second one was still a little bit, but already the second one was already better because yeah. the first verse to the chorus was actually great. And the but once that half just, of that performance, yeah. was but really then they had to good, step yeah. down, and then it all went again yeah. down the drain a little bit. Yeah, and then because they're on that rotating platform for the yes. first half, aren't they? And it's a really striking visual, um, and on the backdrop as well, it's it's reminded me a little bit of Seven Nation Army, the video yes, for that, because correct. it's a lot yes. of like red, black, um, and uh, white triangles going up and down the screen. Yes, and obviously, there's like monochrome um, videos of the members of two they're all performing yes. the song in uh, slow motion it, it is a really striking uh, visual and um, one that I wasn't expecting but uh, yeah the, the first half great but then obviously when they stepped down that was where the problems came into it um, I think towards the end of the run to be fair they did start to do uh, a lot better with it um, and I think they were sort of getting there but they just they, they don't quite look comfortable with the performance just yet on yes. the stage so it'd be interesting to see what happens in the second round Yes, and uh, see if you know. Obviously, they feel more at home with what they're doing. Absolutely, and I do, first of all, I also love their looks, like the the outfits that they yeah. have with the red veil, but then that golden thing that they have there. So well, you need to check out the video; it's really cool. And the dresses, it looks stunning. Yeah, it's just a stunning look with a stunning backdrop, though. So when it all comes together, and we know it will, I have a feeling it's going to look amazing. Yeah, I really think it's going to look amazing. And I also want to point out. We talk about, you know, the mystic cues, you know, don't be too nervous, it's the first rehearsal. And I remember, you may remember as well, you know this girl from um, Israel called Netta? She missed her cues initially yeah. as well, quite a bit. Yeah, the first um, first rehearsals for Netta last year were Always like when she's supposed to go down the uh, runway, she yeah. always missed. Oh, and the guy, actually the stage person had to help her. Yeah. Like, it was, a, it was a mess at first, yeah. but you know, but we together. know all what happened to her. Yeah. She won. Yeah. So this and here is, we are. Here we are. Yeah. So we're not trying to take. I, I thought that you know that they know now when to uh, leave that st rotating platform and grab their microphones. And the fourth run, I think they had four run throughs, right? I think, I think it was so, the fourth. Yeah. That's when they actually had almost everything down. As far as the choreography concerned, they sounded better. I don't. Anyone missed it? singing at any at any point it was just that they were just so focused on getting the choreography right that they didn't connect a whole lot with the cameras and all that stuff but that yeah. is okay it's okay um that's what we the second second rehearsal was there for but i think we're on the right path do you do you feel comfortable at this point with poland at least you see the progression yeah i, I think if they can get the cues and the performance right then obviously it's a really striking visual that they've got there and it, it's got a progression through the three minutes um, it does encourage audience participation as well so it's it's good for the energy because I think that will help them and lift them once there's an audience in there there's a couple of songs in this semi-final that I think would really benefit from that so yeah uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens from here but uh, you know I don't have too many concerns about the content of the performance yeah I don't have it I think once and I know it will come together it's going to be actually really amazing. It's one of those I could see, like, are you listen to an example, Estonia 2015, that so many issues and then it was amazing yeah. in the end. And I could see this absolutely happening here. And I don't want anyone to freak out over it if you're a fan of Tulia and Poland, that this is now the end of it. No, it was just a rocky start. They were off to a rocky start, but they already fixed a lot by the end of this. And they have now time to rehearse like behind closed doors as well and fix yeah. those little things. Everything else, they have the rotating platform, the backdrop, the dresses. Um, I really like that. 
So uh, I guess the only thing I still don't like is that they say that make one people clap along, but that's a personal thing for me. That you know I cannot judge them for that. Um, so you don't like them breaking the fourth wall. Like I don't that, like do them at your yeah. because it's a it's a TV show and that's a stage, but it's yeah. just me personally. So that's the bias. So the one thing that you said that you would point out, uh, would you said the most important thing they need to improve upon is what? Uh, well, obviously they just need to make sure that they get the, the choreography of it yes. down, nailed on, so that mm -hmm. they hit it every time. Because you know, you only get once you're on that stage for the live show, you get well, you get one opportunity and then one in the jury final to make sure it counts. So if you miss your cue and you, you sort of lose track of where you are, yes, it could be over. So, yeah. but, you know, it, it, it's a bit of a drastic way of saying it. But yeah, as long as they can get that sorted yeah. and they really yeah, fine. and then the all they do at that, that point need to bring up their energy and whatever happens. You may still miss your cue at some point. Life happens. Don't mm. lose focus because I think once they did, it's a rehearsal. Yeah, it's the first rehearsal, not as big of a deal. Yeah. Hopefully, the second time around, you need to just stay in it and go back into it, even if you miss one of your cues. Because when the live, you cannot just be like, "Can we start over?" You yeah. know, that's what it is. But I have a good feeling about this. I don't know why. Usually, I would be great, but no, I have a really good feeling about Poland. I'm just saying. But I would like to hear from you. Did you watch the clip on uh, Eurovision's YouTube page? Would love to hear from you. Do you like the staging based on the short snippet? Let us know in the description box. Uh, we'll share more reviews, so stay tuned.